Where is it? The police. Look, maybe we shouldn't be here. What are you talking about? You're his stepson, for heaven's sake. I like that if it meant anything. Well, whatever you thought. As far as they're concerned, we're a loving family. And that's how it stays, right? Chas looked in a bad way, and you can imagine a shock. And Aaron was trying to calm her down. You saw no one else? Well, next thing I knew, half the village were there. There's one other thing. My stepson, Andy, Robert's brother, he's gone missing. When was this? Earlier tonight. I wouldn't mention it, but he's got a history of depression. Well, you think it could be connected? She's not saying that. I just want to know he's all right. Please. I'm worried he could really hurt himself. Lucky. We've been trying you for ages. Where have you been? It doesn't matter. Is it true? Where is he? Well, I tried to get some sense out of the nurses, but all they tell me was that he was in surgery. And what are the police saying? Why? Because someone might have seen you did it. Um, hi, uh, my husband was brought in earlier, Robert Sugden. Oh, I was just about to speak to the rest of his family. Oh. Is there any news? The surgery went as well as could be expected, but we've decided to keep him in a medically induced coma. It's the best thing for him till we see how he's responding to treatment. And how long will that take? Could be days, maybe more. Well, surely you have some idea. Everyone responds differently. I'm sorry, I know that's not what you want to hear. Can we at least see him? If you want to wait in the family room, a nurse will get you as soon as they're ready. I can't be here. What do you mean? I can't, I can't do this. I can't play the grieving wife. I, I think I need to go. OK, OK, OK. Uh, wait by the car, both of you. I'll be there in a second. What are you going to do? Just. Do as I say. Uh, hello. Uh, Lawrence White, uh, Robert's father-in-law. Look, I'm probably talking completely out of turn, but uh, what Diane was telling you earlier about Andy, Robert's brother, uh, well, I, I think there's something else that you should know. He... Uh, he has a history of anger management issues. What kind of anger management issues? The violent kind. Hey, never mind, all right here. Take a load off. Well, as birthdays go, that was certainly up there. Yeah, I had no idea. We put all this clobber on, we'd end up in a real life cop show. I suppose you're used to this sort of thing. Yeah, I was hoping I'd left it all behind me. Well, for what it's worth, I think the bald head suited you. <laughs> Yeah, the, the dog colour never did it for me. Oh. Before you say anything, I didn't forget. Where have you been? I needed to change the trousers before I did myself some permanent damage. By the time I got back, all hell had broken loose. Can it really be true about Robert? We've just got back. Yeah, down to the hospital with Doug and Victoria. Ashley, all right. Sorry, it's just such a shock. But what am I thinking? This is supposed to be a big night. <laughs> It was that all right. Maybe next time we should avoid the whole crime-fighting theme. A bit too realistic. I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. Oh, come here. <laughs> it was fantastic. Even if I was a bit upstaged. Thank you. It meant a lot. Dad, I'm done in. I think I'm going to crash. What are you doing? I walked in and found it like this. Was there anything missing? The gun. What? How? Oh, that's, in that's impossible. Take a look. If they find out it was used on Robert, the police could trace it back here. You can't seriously think this was down to one of us? We stay calm and work out what the hell we're going to tell them.